open it. There you go. It's still. Oh. They have a return label. A return label. Let's put it. Uh, let's set it aside. Uh -huh. And oh wow, the packaging is really safe. Sorry for the background noise. Anyway, uh, by the way, because. Uh, I'm actually doing my unboxing video here outside because it's really hot inside the house and it's really hot in here in the Philippines right now especially in the afternoon so uh, there you go the me logo I'm so excited to open it there you go so Let's go ahead and check the box. As you can see, it's all in Chinese. I don't know how to read in Chinese. But... <laughs> wow. 300 meters. Yeah, it just says 300 meters. And the following... Oh, there says Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi. That's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. And it's a Mi 4C. So let's open it. And there's still the seal packaging. Yeah. So let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. Open, 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 Aha! There you go. So, inside the box, you will get the power cable. Power cable. The user manual, which is all in Chinese. It's all in Chinese. It's all in Chinese. And the router itself. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. See? So I think it's time to uh, change my router and my Wi-Fi with um, a higher speed, so or a much decent Wi-Fi, a much updated Wi-Fi. So um, this Wi-Fi comes with an application, all right, um, where you can actually control or you know get into the user interface to control the Wi-Fi, you know the. Um, kick out uh, you know to, to kick out some Wi-Fi squatters <laughs> that anonymously connects to your um, internet so good user, user in this, um, interface so later on I'm going to show you I'm going to show you um, how to set this one up using a computer so checking the router itself um, we have four antenna and at the back you will see the power port and then the LAN 1 and LAN 2 and then the Ethernet. Okay, um, the, the blue one is for the 1 I guess um, that goes um, to your modem. The one connects to your computer or to your laptop. Now there's a hole in there that says reset. That's a reset button in case that you forgot your Wi-Fi or you'd like to set it up again then you can actually use that to you know configure or you know to to, to, to factory reset your Wi-Fi um, route I want to check if there's any review um, on YouTube but the thing is um, the, 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 there, there is but most of them are in um, Hindi um, the reviewers are in um, India um, Indonesia um, you know um, Asian countries um, the, the the video uh, language is actually set in their default language which is you know not in English or yeah gusto ko sana Pilipino pero yeah <laughs> wala so let's go ahead and connect it to the PC so we're going to plug this port to the power cable here show it in the camera here this cord goes here so you see, when you plug it in, the Mi Wi-Fi goes. There you go. Amazing. 
Then next is the Ethernet cable from your ISP modem. <laughs> oh no, that's copyrighted. So don't. <sighs> then the next one that goes to your computer or to your laptop is this. This will go directly to my computer. So this number one is number two. So let's put it here. Ta-da! It's all set. All right. Now to set up your Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi uh, 4C, first you need to download the application. It it's actually advisable to download the app first because that's the one that they're recommending. So well, go ahead and do it anyways. So um, you need to go to Play Store and then go to Mi Wi-Fi. And then once you go to Mi Wi-Fi, then um, you need to select this one, the first one, which is Mi Wi-Fi by Xiaomi Incorporated. It, it's kind of low rating there, but well, not everyone uses this Wi-Fi. So um, just click and install. That might take some time, like a few seconds. Then there it's downloaded so just let it install on your android device um i uh, i think it, this this is actually uh, compatible with ios so um, just refer to their website now um all you need to do is yeah, and go to open then um just the application will run and then all you need to allow Okay. Now in this part, you will see uh, three options: we sign up, sign into an existing account, and then set up as a new router. Just click on sign, uh, set up as a new router. Then it will actually detect any uh, Mi Wi-Fi that is actually available. There you go. Now click on set up. Then you will have two options there. It says restore from another Mi router or set as a new router. Then select that and then click on continue. Then connect your phone Wi-Fi to Xiaomi, then click on OK, it will automatically connect. If it didn't, then uh, as you can see, the Wi-Fi symbol on the upper right side corner is gone, and there she goes again. Now it's connected, it might take some time to load or to connect. So, then go back to the setup, the router page, then set up a new router, and then continue. I'm getting info. Um, then it will actually check the connection internet connection detected and click on next then this part is you need to set up your Wi-Fi name well everybody there uh, uh, know how to do this one it's network name this is gonna be your SSID or when you try to you know search for your Wi-Fi connection it will actually um, go to this page now um, Xiaomi uh, I'll name it Xiaomi underscore uh -huh, me Xiaomi me Wi-Fi me Wi-Fi there then set up a password um, I'll go ahead and skip this part later all right now I set up my network name um, the password and the admin password now you, you will see at the bottom or at the um, next line you will see there the set as router admin password as well now you will have this option if, if you want to use your password um, your Wi-Fi password as your admin password to log in to the you know the the, the router page when you log into to a computer you can do so as well but um, you know for safety purposes because you, you, you you're gonna you know share your password to a friends or a family member uh, I'd rather use a different a different admin password for that so now all, all you need to do is just click on finish then it will apply the settings once um, you re re you reconnect all right um, to, 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 to to your SSID the one that you created earlier um, you will be uh, redirected by that application at the same time the me me Wi-Fi app all right um, to this page where you can sign in to your me account in the first um, line you can actually change where region um, you're lo um, located so uh, Philippines is not in the list so I'll just click another then I'll go ahead and um, just type in my account ID and password 
I'll be back. Much later. There. Now, um, once you're able to set up your email and password for the Xiaomi Wi-Fi then there, it will automatically connect. And there, um, you can see there's Chinese characters in there, but you don't have to worry. Uh, most of the applications here, uh, w when you download the application, it's in English. Uh, um, tap. Then there, you will have your Wi-Fi here. So you will have an option um, like I guess devices. Currently, the desktop or my computer is actually connected to the router, so you will um, see here and then my vivo phone so um, on the plugins you can actually check the speed which is this is the part that i'm actually um, kind of confused because um it will show you the download speed and the upload speed and the network delay contrary to the internet that i'm getting from uh from my service provider if i do a, um, a different uh speed test for using the uh, google chrome all right or you know the, the speed test.net but I think this is actually um, something with this router that I need to modify but I'm happy for it um, I'm, I'm happy with it right now so I'll just click on finish then on the settings page then you will see there uh, Wi-Fi settings network settings reboot router hardware and system feedback sign out um, and pair the router so and about the router then much much later um now i'm on the desktop now to open your uh wi-fi uh router um all you need to do is just use a google chrome or if you're comfortable using your um microsoft edge but i prefer google chrome in this one so um all you need to just go to this um link address which is uh 192.168.31.1 and it's in chinese so oh, you don't have to worry because um, if you're using a google chrome just right click anywhere in the um the, the blue page then click on translate to english it will translate the english uh the, the the chinese language to english now um in this part you will um enter here your admin password to access your um uh, to access your your router okay so just click uh, next or enter and there you go mm -hmm. there you go okay that's on the full screen all right it's in chinese so let's go ahead and translate it to english so that i can understand as well now you will see the router model which is 4c r4cm and the system rom version and the mac address which is yeah, I'll go ahead and blur that one out. Now, um, you will see the, the the CPU status, current memory status, and the common settings. All right. So click on translate to English. Then you will see Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi, which is your name or your your SSID, all right, for your Wi-Fi settings or the name of your Wi-Fi. Then can actually select a uh, hybrid encryption WPA WPA2 personal edition and your password then it also has a signal strength which is standard energy saving and through the wall then, then others are like the system status um, wherein you can actually pretty much with uh, same with um, the app wherein you can actually update or manual update um, this uh, this router i already updated that earlier when um i initially plugged in my my router um to my computer so in advanced settings let's move on all right um this is actually the interesting part where you can actually see the uh, qos intelligent allocation so you can set 50 uh, this is actually depends on your preference uh, for upload and download um, with converge like what I mentioned earlier this is um, a 50 50 upload and download uh, speed up to which is up up to but most of the time it's always uh, 50 but 
as you can see i'm actually just getting 6.25 for upload and download i don't know why you will have a great game priority automatic uh, web page or video priority now, um, i think this is actually when you're watching hd videos or just browsing the net or doing gaming stuff now let's go ahead and um, go to port okay i think that's pretty much it this is actually the interface where you can actually change your wi-fi um password ssid if you'd like to you know secure your oh now um that's pretty much it and then there's a logout um, option there as well so thank you so much and that's the me wi-fi 4c router thanks and don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and share this uh, video